Tonight, new guests are moving into Kansas City's East Patrol Police Station. City prosecutors opening a new office there expect to reduce nonviolent crime. Larry Seward is live in Kansas City to explain. Larry. Mark, right now, city prosecutors say there's a communication gap between their office, police, and local community organizations. So they're moving into that patrol office to close it. We're going to be very mobile. Tired of business as usual, Kansas City prosecutors plan to open satellite offices at East Patrol and inside Vineyard Neighborhoods Resource Center. Arnika Miller says it's an area battling crimes of all types, especially nonviolent quality of life offenses like graffiti, trespassing, and illegal dumping. Suspects are often repeat offenders. There's a lot of drug activity. There's a lot of young folks around here who need guidance. Prosecutor Beth Morano thinks they need an advocate outside the courthouse. We don't have that direct connection. Connection um, with the community, with the police officers, to understand what's really happening in a community. And this initiative will let us have more connections, not work in a silo. So our office secured grants to start the city's first neighborhood prosecution program. I am going to be the voice of the community in the courtroom. Monica so Smith handles only cases involving East Zone residents. Investigator Lindsay Arbonat helps tracking crime stats, getting tips from neighbors, making contacts in the community. If you have questions about about how the court system works or being a witness or you're not comfortable coming into court you can talk to me about you know how to how to get through that process any extra safety for us is a good thing residents applaud the city's effort they just hope it works now, next Friday afternoon, as part of National Crime Prevention Month, the city is having an open house for the prosecutor's new satellite office in the Vineyards neighborhood. There, community members can fill out surveys about their crime concerns. Larry Seward, NBC Action News.